hello hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel hi my name is Letitia if you are new here in today's video we're gonna be talking about the infamous $100 Amazon camera that people have been using to vlog and start their YouTube channel I got this camera for Christmas and I thought this would be the perfect time to do a review and give my honest feedback on what I think about the camera so let's get right into the video So first things first, this camera is from Amazon. I have the camera right here. Like I said, I got this camera for Christmas, so I did not purchase this myself, but I did get it as a Christmas gift and I have been using it ever since. I haven't been able to put it down. Unfortunately, I am not filming on this camera right now, obviously because I'm doing a review on it. The last six or seven videos on my channel have been vlogs, have been using this camera. So if you need to see what the camera quality looks like, please go back and look at those videos. This camera is all over TikTok and all over the internet right now. So I thought, why not do a review, use it for a little while and see how it works and give my feedback on the camera. So first things first, here is the camera right here. It's the Amazon 4K Ultra HD camera and you can use it to vlog you can use it for your youtube you can use it for whatever you want to use it for the camera does take photos and it does take videos and the camera claims to shoot in 4k 30 frames per second i think the biggest shock factor when it comes to this camera is the fact that it shoots in 4k and it's only a hundred or 120 dollars like that's that's crazy right a lot of people obviously are using like Canons or Sony's or Nikon's so this camera is definitely 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 a budget friendly option first things first compared to all of those other cameras because cameras can be really really expensive the camera that I'm currently shooting on is the Canon EOS 800D which is the equivalent to the T7i and the camera was very expensive it was eight or nine hundred dollars and i didn't get the kit i just got the camera so i brought a lens with it separately and the lens was an additional 125 or 150 dollars so cameras can be very very expensive so finding this camera on amazon for anyone who is using it is definitely a budget friendly option but let's get into the specs of the camera itself. So before I even start talking about the camera, my thoughts, the pros and the cons of the camera, let's talk about some of the specs of the camera. The camera that I have is black, but it does come in different colors. It comes in black, white, pink, and in purple. And like I said before, it does shoot photo and video. So it also shoots time lapse, slow motion, it has a playback option. A recording option for video and then a photo taking option for photos you have your menu buttons here your directional buttons here and your zooming in buttons right here and then here at the top you just have the power button and the uh, click button so when you want to start your video or when you want to take a photo here you can add an external mic and this is what the front of the camera looks like it does come with this one angle lens and then it also comes with an additional wide angle lens which I will show you guys here in a second. So the functions of the camera, like I said, it does shoot photo and it does shoot video. It also shoots slow motion and a time lapse and it has a playback option. It also comes in with the built in flash in the camera and it also has a flip out screen. The flip out screen is just one direction so you can't flip it like up or down but it does have a flip out screen which is really nice when you're recording yourself. The cost of the camera can be for anywhere from $100 to $120. The last time I checked on Amazon I think it was like $121. My camera was delivered in this little kit and it came with the camera body, another macro lens, USB to charge the batteries, two batteries, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and a cleansing cloth for the lens. So now that we have the specs of the camera out of the way, let's get into the pros and the cons of this Amazon 4K Ultra HD vlogging camera. Because the girls are in shambles over on TikTok about this camera. Some people love the camera, some people hate the camera, and I just want to give honest feedback since I have been using it 
for a couple of weeks and I do have some pros and I do have some cons. Pros of this camera. This camera is a very good beginner friendly camera. If you have never used a camera before, this is a great place to start because the camera doesn't have a lot of customization or a lot of options to choose from as far as settings and dials and things like that. So if you're looking to get started fairly quickly with whatever content journey that you're on or whatever it is that you need the camera for, this is a very, very good beginner friendly camera. There's not a lot to it. You just hit the button, it takes the picture, it starts the video, and there's not a lot of things that you have to do setting wise. And that's one of the things that I like about this camera because when you get a Canon or when you get a DSLR, there's so many things that you have to worry about. Exposure and aperture and ISO and things like that. And if you don't have a good foundation of what those things are or if you have no idea what those things are and don't care to learn, then this camera is a good point shoot and go camera for you. You literally just hit the button, it takes the photos, it captures the video and you're good to go. My second pro is that if you do not have a camera or an iPhone that is of good quality and you're looking to start your content creation journey or you're looking to just start filming or capturing photos and you don't have a means of capturing good content, this is a great camera to start with. Again, it's very easy to use. It's very lightweight. You can just grab and go and there's not a lot that you have to do with it when you want to actually use it. And so if you don't have a means of taking good content or capturing good content, whether that's your iPhone is older or you just don't have a camera laying around or you're out of storage or whatever the case may be, this camera is a great way to start your content creation journey. And my last pro is that the price point for this camera is amazing compared to other cameras that are out there. This camera is only $100, $120 at most. And you can shoot video, it's, it's HD, it shoots in 4K and it's only $100 to $120. That's amazing. That's a great price point. Now, that's not to say that the camera quality is going to be the most amazing quality that's out there. But for what you get for $100 to $120, this camera does exactly what you need it to do. So now that I talked about a few of the pros of the camera, let's talk about a few of the cons because there are a few cons. Now, the first con is obviously the quality. The camera is only $100 to $120, so we can't expect for the quality to be top tier. It's not a Canon, it's not a Nikon, it's not a Sony, and I think that if you go into it knowing that and understanding that and not really caring too much about having top tier quality, then that isn't going to matter. But a con of this camera is that the quality is not the best. It does look like the feedback, the video feedback and the photo feedback do look a little bit older style, vintage style um, content, but that's okay. Like I said, it does what it needs to do. If you need a means of starting your content creation journey, or if you need a means of just capturing some photos here and there, capturing some family gatherings or whatever have you, then the camera is going to do exactly what it needs to do. But you need to go into it knowing that you're not going to have the clearest picture, you're not going to have the clearest video feedback, and that's one of the major cons of this camera is that the quality is not the best. It's 2023 and we know that there are amazing iPhones out there and cameras out there that can give us some amazing quality. However, to price point, those cameras or those iPhones are going to cost you thousands of dollars. And if you don't have that amount of money or you don't want to dish out that kind of money, then this camera is good for that. But just know that the quality is not going to be the absolute best, but it's good. The second con is that this camera technically would be considered like a step down quality wise. Again, this is going off the quality thing. If you already have an iPhone, say an iPhone like 11, 12, 13, because those iPhones have really, really good quality and they can shoot in 4K. And the, the quality from the iPhones nowadays is like top tier. It's like crisp, okay? And if you already have an iPhone and you have storage on the phone and you have the capabilities to shoot and to use your iPhone, 
then getting this camera I would say would be a step down in quality um, however it wouldn't be a step down in convenience so if you have an iPhone or if you have a DSR, DSLR already then this would be a step down quality wise like I said this camera doesn't have a lot of functions there's not a lot of customization and if those are things that you are into when it comes to your content or when it comes to whatever it is that you're using your cameras for then this camera is not going to give you that so if you have an iPhone or if you have a DSLR already then this technically would be a step down in quality customizations and things like that and third and probably my biggest and most prominent con of all bigger than the other two because i can deal with the other two is the microphone on this camera the built-in microphone on this camera is terrible it's terrible so you have to get an external mic and you have to find ways to enhance your your audio quality post-production or while you're in production of your video for me i brought in an external mic and what i do in production of my youtube videos is i alter the audio by raising it up a little bit and stabilizing it so that it sounds a little bit clearer but other than that the internal mic on this camera is absolute trash it's terrible if you don't get an external mic for this camera then you might as well just not even use the camera because you're not going to be able to hear anything it's going to be shaky it's going to sound like there's like a little bit of static in the background just don't do it if you get the camera make sure that you get a mic and if you need mic recommendations i have the mic listed in my description box that i have been using and i absolutely love it so like i said i have been using this camera ever since i got it i did receive this as a christmas present so i didn't buy it myself but i absolutely love this camera and to be quite honest yes i have an iphone i have an iphone 13 pro max and i do have a canon dslr which is what i'm shooting this video on right now but i prefer and i tend to grab this camera more than anything ever since i got it like i said it's very convenient it's very lightweight i can just pick it up and go it's not huge and bulky, so when I'm at the gym or when I'm out vlogging, I don't have to worry about people staring at me because I have this huge camera and it looks like I'm setting up this whole production. It's very sleek, it's very compact, and it's just very easy to use. And for that, I think it's more convenient than using my phone because my phone, I don't have any storage on it. And I'm pretty sure that that's an issue for a lot of people, like just... I don't, I don't know what it is with iPhone, but like no matter what, I can clear all my storage and then it's like, you don't have any more storage. And I'm like, how? Or I buy more storage and I still don't have any storage space. So I don't, I don't know what the issue is. But when it comes to my iPhone, I love shooting on my iPhone. That's super easy, super convenient, but I never have storage. This right here literally holds me down. It has been holding me down ever since I got it. The last six, seven, eight videos on my channel have been recorded with this video. Obviously, you can tell the difference in quality, but for me, it's getting done what I needed to get done. I'm shooting my gym content, I'm shooting some of my sit-down content, and I absolutely love it. Sometimes the colors are a little desaturated or a little oversaturated, but that's fine because the content is the content. It's going to be the content regardless, and quality is better for me as long as i know what i'm putting out is valuable so i try not to worry too much about the quality of the video feedback that i'm getting because i know over time i can use my canon dslr if i really really want to or i can you know sit down for hours and factory reset my iphone and record using that but i don't want to this is just so much easier it literally has just made my life so much easier when it comes to content creation and i've been able to be consistent i've been putting out three videos a week since the beginning of january using this camera because of this camera and i'm so happy that i got this as a christmas gift i'm so grateful and i'm just so thankful that this camera has come into my life so i personally think that the camera is worth it i think that it's a good um, investment if it's something that you're looking to get into if content creation is something that you're looking to get into and you want something that's easy on the go something that's easy to pick up something that's lightweight something that gets 
the video out that you need to get out i personally think that the that the camera is worth it um i know a lot of people don't like it because of the quality or because of the audio but again i just say that there are things that you're just gonna have to overcome and everybody starts somewhere and with the audio there are fit ways to fix that like i said just buy an external mic and work on your audio and your production phase of your videos and you will be good to go i don't have any issues with my audio and my production in my production phase or once they're uploaded to youtube so i know that the external mic is working for me and as far as the quality goes like i said as long as the content that i'm putting out is valuable or as long as the content that we're putting out is valuable it shouldn't really matter what your what your quality is like your quality is going to get better over time and for me this camera is doing exactly what i needed to do i think that if you take the time to work on things that you can work on have good lighting have good um audio with the mic and just setting up your background or whatever the case may be just making the video as best as you can presentation wise then i think that you will be fine and i think that the camera is definitely worth the investment all right guys, that's all I have to say about this 4K Ultra HD camera from Amazon. Like I said, I personally think that it is worth the investment. And I think that if you have been thinking about it or if you've been seeing it on your TikTok and you've been thinking about giving it a try, then I definitely think that you should go for it. If you have made it this far to the video, then I want to say thank you again for stopping by. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to the channel and joining the community of cousins that I'm building here on the internet. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another one of my videos. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button and hit that notification bell so that you are notified of all of my future uploads. Until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.